Well, hey there, my friend. I'm Abby from Abby Kirsten Collections. Today, I'm gonna teach you how to make these beautiful DIY floating ornaments with the help of your Cricut machine. So let's cover the supplies you're gonna need for this project first. So first, you are gonna want some form of cutting machine. I'm using the Cricut Maker 3 here, but you could use any of the Cricut models to make this, any of the ones that work with Design Space, the Maker 3, the Explore 3, Explore 2, Cricut Joy Machine can even work. You're going to need to have vinyl. So I like to use permanent vinyl. You can use um, a plain, you can use holographic like I'm using here. You can use a textured metallic. Any vinyl like that is going to work for this project. You're also gonna to wanna to have some 4 ml or 4 mil acetate for this craft as well that's what's going to allow us to create that floating 3d effect inside of our ornament and i'll show you how we'll get it in there when we get into this craft additionally you'll want to have a weeding tool you may want to have a brayer tool hand and a cricut scraper you're also going to need to have some transfer tape so we can transfer our vinyl onto the acetate for getting that design into our ornament there you're also going to need plastic ornament Christmas balls. So these come in a lot of different sizes. Um, this one here is an over, over five inches. And then this one here is similar in size, but it's more of a disc shape rather than a full circular shape. They also come in smaller sizes. This one's about three inches here. And there's other ornaments out there as well that will come in different sizes. Um, choose which one that you want to use. I do recommend going with the larger ones. I feel like it works better with the designs. You can see the design. It really pops that much more. Um, so I would say avoid going any smaller than the three inch ornaments, but I really like the five to six inch five to six inch size ornaments. Um, and I have resources for these below. So all the supplies here, I'm gonna link resources below for you so you can find them as well. We are gonna be using a ornament template design. It's gonna look like this. So it's basically the size and the shape of your particular ornament. I'm gonna teach you how to resize them if you need to resize them for yourself. And I'm gonna provide several sizes for you as free templates, which you can find linked below. So in addition to these free um, floating ornament templates, which is gonna allow you to basically place whatever design you want onto them, I also have several of these really pretty designs that are what we actually cut out in vinyl to create that pretty final uh, result that you're seeing in there in vinyl. So I like to use holographic vinyl for this. Um, these designs that you're seeing right here, these four designs right here, these are a part of the membership at Abby Kirsten Collections. I also have a handful of designs which can be used for these as well and they are freebies. So if you are one of our premium members, you'll get access to everything. If you are not or do not wish to be, then you can still enjoy the, um, the free basic template here to put your own design on. And then there's some other additional designs that are free in the vault that you can enjoy as well. So let's go ahead and do a quick setup in Cricut Design Space so I can show you some of the things you need to know if you need to resize these for yourself. And then we're gonna go ahead and make this craft. All right, so I'm just gonna show you a couple of things in Design Space here that will help you if you need to uh, resize your templates. Uh, so these here, I'm gonna be providing templates for that plastic acetate piece that we're gonna be cutting out um, that's gonna have that vinyl applied to it to create that floating ornament effect. So I'm going to have a few different sizes and measurements written um, on the blog that goes with this video. You can find it linked below and you can find the templates linked below as well. Now, if you happen to be using a different size ornament than the three that I am featuring in this video, you can very easily in most cases resize this. So you would just select one of these here one of these ornament templates that I'm providing for free. And you can scale it and size it up here in the primary edit bar in Design Space. So um, what you wanna do is you want to look at the width, not the height, because the height includes the little um, top of the ornament piece here, the little crown piece. And we don't wanna include that in our sizing. We want the uh, diameter of our ornament, okay? That's what we need to reference. So the width is what you wanna reference. Now, if you're not sure what the width is, maybe you have an ornament that you bought that doesn't have the dimensions written on it, I have some additional tips for that. It can be as easy as um, you know, calculating the circumference and then um, finding the diameter, and there's really easy calculators online for that, so you don't have to be a math whiz, because I am certainly not. Um, and then another thing you can do 
is you can also do conversions. So a lot of times um, when you're dealing with these uh, plastic ornament balls, they'll come in like a millimeter size. So you'll see like 80 millimeter, 100 millimeter, and you may need to know what that is in inches because in most cases you're gonna be working in inches here in Design Space unless you have it set up otherwise. So you're gonna need to just convert that and you can go to Google and just convert millimeters to inches and it'll do it for you, so super easy. So that's the only thing I want to note here is that if my free templates here for these floating ornaments don't work in the sizes that they come in, then just go ahead and scale them. So for example, maybe I need this one to be, I don't know, 3.2 inches. I could click on it and we would go to the width and we would type in 3.2 inches and then it would resize that. Notice that the 3.2 is again in the width, which is what we want to pay attention to and not the height. Okay, so the last thing I just want to mention is about the design. So what you're seeing here on my screen to the left is four of my eight floating ornament designs. I'm going to show you how to just upload the, um, the other four designs real quickly here. And you can find more information about getting these designs and downloading them for yourself uh, below this video as well. So over here on the left hand side, we have the upload button in the design panel. I'm going to click on that. I'm gonna click on upload image and I'm gonna browse my computer to wherever I save the file. So if you go and download these files from me, um, you're gonna save them to your computer. That might be your desktop, it might be your downloads folder or a specific folder on your computer. So just navigate to that location where you saved it so you can bring the file in. Okay, so here is where one of my designs is saved. So I'm just gonna open that up here in Design Space and we see a preview here of these four images for our floating ornaments. I'm gonna click Upload at the bottom corner. And then I'm gonna select it again here under Recent Uploads and click Add to Canvas. And it's gonna drop it in to Design Space here. Now you more than likely will also need to resize these designs as well to fit whatever size ornament you are using. So you wanna make sure you first scale your templates for the acetate before you scale the designs themselves. So this came in as a set of four, and again, you can find more information about how to download these exact designs um, on abbeykirstencollections.com, which is linked below. With this uh, selected, I'm gonna click on the ungroup button at the top of the layers panel. You can also right click and hit ungroup as well. And I'm just gonna grab, let's do the, um, let's do the Merry Christmas one here. And you can change these colors. So I might actually just change this to a white. So I'm gonna grab this Merry Christmas one here. And I know one of my ornaments is going to be, what is the size of it here? 3.74, that's the size of one of my ornaments. 3.74, so I've scaled that. Oh, let me move these out of the way. And then I need to make sure this is scaled also. So it's actually already a pretty good size. One thing you wanna do is when you zoom in here, make sure that you don't uh, make it too large. You want to be able to see the edge of that ornament um, silhouette that we have there behind it in white. You wanna be able to see it all the way around. So you don't want it to be like overlapping at the bottom there because then it won't align very well when you cut it out. So make sure you give it a little bit of a grace area on the edge. That looks pretty well. I might go just a smidge smaller, very small amount. Okay, so now I know that this design is scaled correctly for the size of my ornament um, for this plastic acetate piece that we're gonna be cutting out behind it in that clear plastic acetate. And then I'm gonna cut this out in vinyl, of course. So you would do that for any of the ornament designs you wanna use, whether you're using any of these four designs or you're bringing in other images or uploads, you would just follow suit the same way using these free templates that I have linked below for you. Now, once you've sized everything, make sure you save your project and then let's go ahead and click on the Make It button. So uh, once you click on that Make It button, you'll get a preview here of all your mats that you need to cut out. And then we're gonna hit continue to connect to our Cricut machine. And you're just gonna need to browse your materials and select the corresponding material. So for the plastic acetate piece, that is the clear piece that makes it look like it's floating, you're gonna need to find that setting by browsing all materials and just type in acetate. And you'll find it. 
there under compatible materials. And then for your uh, vinyl that goes as the actual decorative design, um, that will be specific to which type of vinyl you choose. So if you choose holographic sparkle like me, or maybe you choose the, um, the metallic textured vinyl, which I like to use, you'll see me use in the video, that would be this one right here. You would just select that and click done and then you would um, load that onto your mat. So let's go ahead and do that now. All right, so now that we have our design up in Cricut Design Space, again, acetate is what I am selecting here. This is a 4 ml thickness of acetate. You could probably go a little thinner or a little thicker, but 4 ml is what I am using here. So I'm gonna go ahead and place this down right onto my Cricut mat here. And my mat's pretty fresh, but you can use a brayer tool to push the material to the mat and get out any air bubbles that might be there and make sure that it's going to make good contact. And then I'm gonna go ahead and load this up and it's gonna cut these template pieces here, these acetate template pieces, which is going to be our base. It's going to allow us to place that pretty vinyl design onto. So let's go ahead and load our Cricut machine here. I'm gonna press the flashing double arrow button. It's gonna scan the length of my mat and then we're gonna press that flashing play icon or Cricut C icon to proceed with the cut. All right, so the cut is finished. I'm gonna go ahead and unload my mat here. I'm gonna flip my mat over and I'm gonna peel the mat away from the acetate here. So here are my templates that we're gonna to use to apply that vinyl and design of our choice to. And you can cut out as many of these as you need. So I'm just gonna set these aside for the moment. And then we're gonna go ahead and cut our vinyl out. So I'm using um, holographic and a textured metallic vinyl for this project. You could absolutely still use other vinyls. I think for like these uh, scene ornaments that I created here, like this one here, we have the Merry Christmas with the little deer and the tree scene in it. Um, these would be really pretty too with like a patterned vinyl. So explore your opportunities with your different vinyls. Um, there's no right or wrong way to do it. But I'm gonna be using some of my metallic here, the gold, and we're just gonna place this down and select the corresponding material in design space. So for me, that's going to be the um, textured metallic vinyl setting in design space. We can also use our brayer tool to push this to the mat. All right, so I'm just gonna load my mat and get all of my vinyl cut out. You can mix colors or you can just do solid colors if you like, just like this. So that's completely up to your preference. With this design here, uh, the design had the words and then had the little frame of holly that went around it, so I mixed colors. For the silhouette designs here, they looked really good in a holographic in a singular color, but that's ultimately your choice. One little extra tip I like to do when I'm weeding vinyl is if your liner is curling on you a lot like this, it can be difficult to weed. So try weeding on your Cricut mat. You can actually just press it right back down after you've um, trimmed off any extra vinyl and then it kind of acts as an extra set of hands and it's really helpful when you're dealing with that vinyl where things are really curling on you there. All right, so I've weeded this design here. I'm gonna go ahead and take it off of the Cricut mat now. And I've cut down a piece of transfer tape here and we're just going to lay this over the top of the design. Grab your Cricut scraper tool and you wanna burnish it on the front and the back. And then you wanna peel the liner away. There we go. So I have my acetate template here, and I find it's a little easier to have the design facing down with the sticky side of the transfer tape up and place the acetate template on top of it that way. I feel like it's just a little bit easier to see and to get things aligned properly there. So I'm just gonna hover and place this down. Okay, once you get it placed down, make sure you burnish the front and the back again. I'm just rubbing with our Cricut scraper tool. It's known as burnishing. Flip it over. Okay. 
And then you want to peel back your transfer tape. Okay, so here is our vinyl design cut out put onto our transfer tape template. And now we just need to grab our ornament. So I'm using this um, large, I think this is about a five, six inch ornament here. You're gonna pop the lid out here and you can use the different sizes as you can see, I've done that with other designs here. You wanna pop the lid out and then take your design with the acetate. And I like to roll the design up. Usually I put the pretty side of the vinyl face down away from me and then roll up that direction. And this is gonna allow us to get it inside of our ornament here. Go ahead and get it in there, let it open up, and then you're probably going to need to grab your weeding tool to sort of just shift it a little bit so that it's hanging out right in the center of that ornament there. There we go. And then we replace our cap just like that. And there is our floating ornament. So I have lots of these designs. You can get the floating ornament acetate templates for free on abbykirstencollections.com so that you can make these for yourself or apply your own designs to them because a lot of people want to put their own designs on. But this is so fun to make. They really do look like they're floating and they're beautiful for your Christmas tree or to give as gifts during the holiday season. Here is another quick look at a couple of these other designs. So I have this one here, all is calm, all is bright. I've cut vinyl out. And I'm gonna apply that transfer tape, burnish it on both sides, and then lift that liner away. I'm gonna do the same thing with the little wreath that goes around it, and then I'm just gonna place that phrase on top and burnish the entire design front and back with both those layers. I'm gonna peel that liner away, and then we're gonna place it onto the acetate just like we did with the last one. I like to place it with the sticky side face up and then burnish it on the front and the back and remove the top of your ornament and then roll it up just like before. So this is just a little look at some of our other designs here, which you can find linked below. So make sure you go and download them as well as these ornament templates for the acetate part. So this one looks really good. It's, um, it's pretty well centered, but if for any reason you're dealing with a design that maybe when you get it in there, it's kind of like bunching up and the design is just a little bit too large, you don't have to redo everything. So let me just show you um, what I would do in that case. So this one here, Joy to the World, um, this one is just ever so slightly too big. If you can kind of see, it's sort of curving rather than going straight up and down, which means it's just a little too big. So I'm gonna pop the top back off here and I'm gonna reach in and pull out the design. And then you can grab a pair of detailed scissors and you can just barely, ever so slightly, trust me, it won't take much, trim down the acetate just a little bit and you'd be surprised by just ever so slightly doing that, how it will settle into place that much easier. Okay, so you don't have to trash your entire design if that happens. Just give it a little bit of a snip. And this one is now much more upright. It's, it doesn't have that big bow to like, um, it's not bowing uh, as much in the middle. So that would be how I would fix something like that. So don't trash your whole design if that happens to you. Just trim off a tiny bit with some detail scissors and you'll be good to go and your arm will be beautiful. So we have this one done as well. Let me pop my lid back in here. like that how pretty are those these are so pretty they're very easy to make they make beautiful gifts decor for your home um, I absolutely love this craft so here's a bit of a close-up as to how this one turned out really pretty this is the gold textured metallic and then I also love to use holographic for these it's one of my favorite things to use so there's how our holographic design turned out I have one here with a snowman as well here's our joy to the world sign or ornament excuse me you can see how um even though we use different ornament sizes this is a large ornament and this is a smaller ornament they still work so don't be afraid to try different sizes just keep in mind your 
um, design and the detail nature of it when you're cutting it out on your Cricut machine. Super pretty. And this one's also one of my favorite. All is calm, all is bright. Super, super pretty. And these are not hard to make. They're really easy. They're great for beginners. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure you go check out the free designs I have for you. And for everyone who is an Abby Kirsten Collections Premium Craft Vault member, make sure you check out all the additional designs as well. All that information is linked below for you to access. I'll see you there. Bye for now.